cellar down there, Gainesville, Florida. And it's like a really clean Miata. Now, I never thought I'd be going over 4,000 RPMs just to cruise on the interstate. I mean, granted, I usually cruise at 4,000 RPMs in the Protégé, but the, the, the gearing is just so much shorter in the Miata than the Protégé. And it really is much more responsive, but <laughs> the revs on the interstate are killer. And it really doesn't sound that loud, honestly. It's more insulated than the Protégé, believe it or not. Now there's a few issues. There's an issue with the, the bright lights, but um, included is a another signal slash light switch, so should be able to fix that. This one doesn't have cruise control or ABS, but everything is in good shape on it. The interior is immaculate, the top's in great shape. I mean, the thing only had 93,000 miles on it, I crossed over to 94,000 coming back. There's something funky with the fuel gauge, but that's just the fuel pump sending unit. It's, and it does have a little bit of an oil leak somewhere, but it's absolutely minuscule compared to what I'm used to. And pop-up headlights work. There's a couple of little issues here and there, and I made a list of them. But it's in great shape. There's no evidence of overspray or replaced panels or really any kind of damage other than one scuffed up bit of paint on the rear bumper, which is quite minor. And most importantly, there's like no rust on this thing. There's like no rust at all. Pretty amazing. So I am in South Carolina right now. I've made it through like shit tons of traffic in Florida. Made it through Georgia. And let me tell you, there are a lot of cops on the road. There's like people passing on the other side of the road. I had to go like off the road to avoid this like blue Mazda like oncoming no shit cops. And did I mention I'm not running any tags on this thing? Yes, it's the third state that I'm in now with no tags. And I'm just like talking on the walkie and shit. The car I have with me has the radar detector in it. Suddenly, I don't have enough adapters in here. I don't have a full-fledged power inverter. So I can't, I can't run my, my phone, the walkie and my unit in R3 at the same time, so therein lies the problem. It's just the fun part of like driving across four states with no tags on the back of the car and dodging the cops and shit. And it really wasn't fun in rush hour traffic. Like the person I had behind me, <laughs> they had a, a sheriff directly behind them. And I guess they were blocking me pretty good because the sheriff never noticed that I didn't have a tag. So, uh, yeah. Yay for walkies and shit. Yeah, I think I can smell a little bit of coolant. I don't think it's coolant. I think it's a little bit of burning oil. I think where the rear main seal or something is leaking in the back of the motor, it's somehow leaking onto the exhaust and burning off. And I'm able to smell it. Bright lights. That kind of sucks. So I definitely want to put some truck lights in here. Some super bright LEDs. 
similar to the protege. I'm not used to a wheelbase this short. Um, I hit one bump earlier, like a very large bump, and I swear if I didn't have my seatbelt on, I'd have been like flying out the convertible top. Seatbelt's the only thing that kept me in the damn car. Eventually I'll probably put a hard top on here, but currently the soft top is in very good shape. And apparently what you want to do, you want to loosen the soft top, then unzip the back zipper for the plastic window, and then put the top down all the way. That way you don't put any undue stress on the zipper or the plastic or get a fold in it or anything. And apparently what you want to do, you want to loosen the soft top, then unzip the back zipper for the plastic window, and then put the top down all the way. That way you don't put any undue stress on the zipper or the plastic or get a fold in it or anything. The owner was nice. He included the boots. He included a steering column like wiper switch, headlight switch and stuff from the junkyard, which was right next to his business, amazingly. I mean, how awesome is that? And there's like this dude named Miata Bob, like an hour away down in Florida. And tank, and the 94 Miata is a 12.7 gallon tank. And like what other people have said, I've heard people rant that it's only a 10 gallon tank. And no, it would suck if it was. No, the, the earlier NAs, the 1.6 liters, they had an 11 point something gallon tank. But the 94 and up, they had a 12.7 uh, gallon tank. And honestly, that's plenty next time I fill up. Now, I also found if I hit a very odd gradient in the road, like really rough pavement, it'll like vibrate the car the wrong way. And it's, it's happened twice on the interstate in a couple of different states. And the airbag light will come on. And then, then once I hit smooth pavement, it goes off again. Also, every now and then the check engine light will come on. And then it goes off again. I mean, right now I have no lights. Usually I have no lights, but every now and then those two lights do come on. I will be amazed if I make it across four states without getting pulled by the cops. And I am more than halfway there. I can't believe I got out of Florida. I saw so many cops in Florida. They were so close. And Georgia. Georgia's pretty bad. Bell tags. <laughs> Never thought I'd do this. I'm, I'm literally going 4,000 RPMs on the highway. My GPS is correct. Uh, I'm going like 74 miles an hour. 73 miles an hour. That's crazy. Oh, and I mean, that's, that's not true for all Miatas because this actually has a bigger tire on it right now. It's a 185, 65, 14 rather than the 185, 60, 14. So it's slightly taller, so that throws the speed off a little bit. It's like having a slightly longer gear, which I guess normally you'd be at 4K RPM at like 71 miles an hour or something, or 72 miles an hour.